reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said to the crowds, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows, and as pretext, recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. For our reflection, dear parents, students, and colleagues, always be reminded that Jesus always notices any effort you make that is made with love. What is important is what Jesus sees. There is a large crowd in the temple area in today's gospel, but Jesus especially sees just one person. Many people there are putting their donations for the poor into huge brass jars that ring loudly when a large coin drops in for all to hear, just as some donors wanted. The coin the woman puts in is so small it makes no sound at all, but Jesus notices. If you saw the woman's donation, you would know. She accomplished nothing for the poor. What she gave, which was all she had, was so small that it could not have helped anyone at all. However, Jesus notices not what she gave, but how she gave, and tells everyone how impressed he is at her deep personal commitment. The woman made a profound gift of her entire self. Jesus sees the nature of her generous heart. While others gave much larger gifts that attracted attention, Jesus also noticed their insincere hearts. They only gave in order to be seen as generous, while the woman gave to express her genuine love. She must have thought deeply about her gift and prayed about it for some time. Her decision was a well-considered and thoughtful one. With both careful reflection and intense emotions of love and compassion. Her decision became more powerful and effective than all the other gifts precisely because it was so authentic and genuine. The widow reminds us we cannot offer nothing. Therefore, make every generous donation, large or small, every kind word, every thoughtful gesture, every prayer, your personal gift of genuine love, and our Lord will surely notice. Starting from today, I challenge everyone to start doing small things out of love, be it your pets, family members, friends, or even to strangers who are in need. Remember that those small things count. They make a great difference to this world, most especially during this time of pandemic. As what Mother Teresa said, and I quote, Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. For our prayers of the faithful, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may we, like the widow, offer examples of hospitality and generosity beyond measure as we leave our vocations as single, married, religious, deacons, and priests. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of stewardship, may we cheerfully give back to God from the many gifts given to us. 
pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the widows and widowers, may they know the joyful outreach of this faith community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals, may they be permitted to function according to their conscience, and may they be remembered with love in prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are ill, may they be comforted by loving friends and family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We bow our heads and remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you hear our prayers and grant us new life and hope through faith in your infinite love and generosity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning.